This video is going to go over how to edit a surface once you have it created and you need it to do things for you. Um, as you can see, I've got a parking lot and we're, there's a couple buildings they're putting in over here. So I'm just going to focus on inside this parking lot. So it's pretty rough and you need to be able to do stuff with the tin lines and the points to get it to drain like you want it to. So I'm going to show you kind of a few things that you can do to get your surface to look better. Um, so if you click on the surface, it pops up in the ribbon, the edit surface. Um, pull that down. Uh, one, of the, one of the easiest, quickest ways to manipulate a surface is to swap an edge. And when it's talking about edges, it's talking about these tin lines that go between the points and create the data that you know you see when you look at it in a profile or a cross section or something like that so if you click on one of these lines it will swap to where it is going between other lines if possible if you see that one popped up and said it can't be swapped because it is doing in between these two points here and it can't swip, swap to another one so that is the you know that's the only thing you can do you can change those and then now you will be able to swap it and it puts it, the contour line back along the edge of that curb um, so as you're going through here um, and you see a contour line that is doing something you don't want it to do or if there's it's a really long run that the uh, tope of the tin is extrapolated across and you would rather shorten it up you can swap lines and kind of look around and see what the contours are doing that one again says it can't be swapped if you swap them back and then it goes back to where it was um, that is the you know that's one of the quickest and easiest ways to manipulate the surface um, if you have datum that you need changed I created this these interior I created them with feature lines the exterior also with feature lines um, I set some points around the very edge of this all before I created anything just to start the surface. Um, and I used, I believe it was 781. I might have assumed something. So let's check and I can show you how to change that. Um, if you modify that, you're, sorry, do the pull down on edit surface. Let's do it again. I think I did it too fast. So if you click on your surface, come up to the ribbon, edit surface modify point and let it click on the point right click it's going to ask you 7 I set it at 781 so I think I'm going to change that to 782 and I want to go to the other four points that I a few other points that I set and change those to 782 just so that the definition changes Okay, so that is one way to change the elevation points is just through clicking on it, modifying, modify the point through your ribbon, edit surface, modify point. Um, you can also delete points. If you walk over here and click on the point that I added, it goes away. And if you want to add it back, same area, add point. Just click on the point you want to add. Look at 782. There you go. Um, if you wanted to make a low spot in, in, in this little grassy area, you add a point. And we'll make this uh, 780 or 779. Just to go way low so you can see it. If you had a rain garden or something you're putting in there. Um, you can, through that same pull down menu, you can move points. And there you go. Click on it, find the one you want, pick where you want it to go, and then moves it around. 
around. So the points are pretty, pretty easy to manipulate if it's, you know if it's points that you set. Um, if you have feature lines, there's quite a few more options on the feature lines. They are more complex. Um, I have a feature line here, and I've, I'll pull it up and see what the elevation is. Pull up the elevation editor. They're all at 781. So if you click on your feature line in your ribbon, it's going to come up with all of the things you can do with the feature line. Now, there's a lot that you can do. Um, if you want to add a point along the feature line, you pick where you want it to go. It's going to ask you, what do you want to make the elevation? I'll make it 781 just so it matches the rest. And then it continues. Um, the command continues after you hit enter. So I'll put this in again. And I'm going to make it 781. So that's adding a PI. It's the same, um, same function. If you want to delete a PI, if you added one in inadvertently, click delete PI. It goes away. Um, you can see now that I, since I've added a point, the topo 10 lines are now extrapolating to that point. And so if that is not what you want it to do, you come down here, click on your 10 again, and swap an edge so that it's not shooting to that point. So these, now you can do something like that. And this one can do this. So you see now the 780 kind of is back to how we had it initially. Um, I'm going to go back to the feature line at ed editing. There's a lot you can do. So initially I pulled up the elevation editor just to see the elevations of that line. Um, that's one way to do it. Uh, if you have if you have the uh, feature line selected. A really nice way that you can tell what's going on is this button here. It's your quick elevation edit. You click that button and you can hover over a point <clears throat> and or a slope and it'll tell you what your grade is and then your point. So you can very quickly change your points and then now the slope has changed because I changed that point. So if I change this one to be lower It's going to start, you know, as you go around, you can edit. Um, if you wanted to edit things by slope, click that same button, hover over the middle, and say, I want that to be in exactly minus one slope. And it changes it to, in this direction, it makes this point so that from here to here is a minus one slope, one, you know, 1% grade. Um, if you want to if you want to edit that, you, you can do it by grade or by slope. If you type S after you clicked on it, you can put a slope in if you're using slopes instead of grades, percentages. Um, so we've went over insert PI, delete PI. We've used the quick elevation editor. Um, if you want to insert an elevation point along that line, but not an actual PI, you click the insert elevation point, just kind of slide along, decide where you want it, and place a line. It's going to ask you your elevation. If you just want it to be a point that is along that slope that we set, it's reading down here, it's reading 781051. So if you just hit enter, it'll put a point in at that elevation, and that slope continues. I'll show you with the quick elevation editor. So we got 1% and 1%. So it's continuing at that slope. Um, if you placed a point and you don't want it any longer, it's just as easy to come in and say delete point and it goes back away and everything updates. Um, these, these buttons in here, you know, it, it allows you to edit 
in a lot of different ways the um, along that feature line. So this ele this edit these buttons edit the elevations of a feature line. This these buttons edit the actual feature line itself. So you got a trim, you got a break, a trim, a join, reverse. You know, all sorts of basically it's similar to regular 2D line work. And if you hover over them, it gives you a little a little uh, shows you how it works. So if you're wanting to edit your feature line, you have to use these buttons in here. Um, these are already added to my uh, surface, but if they were if you were doing all your feature lines and you had not added them to your surface yet, you select the feature line you want, and you add the surface as a break line, and then it will update the definition. Um, I was showing you that you could right click to get to the elevation editor. <clears throat> it's also in the ribbon. So if you click that, the same window box comes up and you can look at the elevations along your feature line. And it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to try to zoom out here so that I can see it. But as you click in these boxes it will put a icon over your feature line so you can see where you're at it's not working and I, this is a really long line so I had to zoom way out so you're not able to see it um, but as you that way you can tell where you're at on your feature line with what elevation you're editing um, something I like with the feature lines is if you need to raise the entire feature line so that the whole surface raises click up in this um, let's click up here you say you want to raise lower it asks you how much do you want to raise and lower I'm gonna say one foot and I that might have just set everything to one it did and it did that incorrectly. So you, it, you hit raise lower and then you put in the elevation you want to raise it to. So I'm going to say 785. It's going to put everything really high. And so it works it out and now you have you know five foot of drop between the edge of the curb to the center of the islands. Um, You can set it to move things up and down incrementally by this button here. This is your set increment. So if you wanted to lower it one foot, set that. It was defaulted to one foot, so I'll make it two foot. And then you hit your lower button, and it lowers everything two foot. Now, as you can see, they're all at 783. So you can get to that. If your feature line is selected, you can get to it by right clicking Elevation Editor or a regular, just have it selected and go up into your ribbon and then hit the Elevation Editor. Um, so, editing surfaces is tricky. Um, there's a lot of things that when you're building it the contours just aren't doing what you want it to do so if you need to add a point or a feature line to get it to drain get to get the surface to drain um, and you can tell if you turn on the slope arrows so you want to turn on your surface style if you want to see how things are draining or which direction it's flowing you can turn on your slope arrows So you can see everything's falling this way, and I've got it, it's all going to here, and it's going around, you know, <clears throat> it's just a real quick and easy way to see how your surface is, you know, how it's going, if you don't have a, the contours labeled. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that 
is just kind of a top level. Um, this is, you know, you can add a boundary to your surface if you only want to see the inside. So if I drew a polyline around the inside of this uh, surface to where I did not want to see the rest of the outside, this would block out everything. So click on the surface. can just see what we're working with on the inside. So if you're wanting to get this part defined real well and then work your way out, you can create a boundary. Um, if you want to get rid of that boundary, I think you just have to erase the polyline that you created. Let's see. Yeah, and then it pops back to like it is. Um, so that is a quick and high level kind of just how things are with feature lines points and how to edit your surface by swapping edges adding points moving points moving your feature lines up and down modifying your point elevations up or down so that is how to edit a civil 3d surface